this is a combinatorics question from mathematics we have been given six jobs with distinct difficulty levels so we'll consider that all these six jobs are distinct and there are three computers with distinct processing speeds so these three computers are also distinct each job is assigned to a computer such that the fastest computer gets the toughest job now it is de defined that the six jobs are distinct and the three computers are also distinct so out of these six jobs one two three four five and six the most difficult job let us say it is the first one and this is our set of computers there are just three computers one two and three it is said that the most the fastest computer gets the toughest job let's, let's say the computer one is fastest since they are all distinct there would only be one fastest computer and we need not choose it like doing 3c1 because all of them are distinct there would be only one way of choosing the fastest computer so let us say this is the toughest job that is mapped to the fastest computer and the slowest computer gets the easiest job this job 6 is the easiest one which gets gets the slowest computer so now we have four jobs left out and one computer left out for these what we need to do is we have to assign every process a computer such that each computer gets a job means there is no vacant computer and also there is no process that is left unassigned each process gets a computer and no computer is left unused so what is the number of ways of achieving this thing now we might think of one approach which would be incorrect most of us would be going for that in the first case which is we are having four computers and four processes and three computers so why don't we simply do it like we will select see uh, each of them has to be mapped all four of them would be consumed none of them is to be left out similarly here none compute none of the computers would be left empty so why don't we select three processes out of this give them one computer each and then for the one remaining process we'll allot it any one of the three computers this is what approach you might come up with that is 4c three ways for selecting three processes out of these four and for those three processes we will allocate them these three computers in three factorial ways now one process would be left out in here because we chose just three so one is left out so that one process would be assigned to any one of the three computers in three ways this gives us the result six into four into three which is 24 thrice 72 and that is incorrect the reason being on these four processes we applied the selection twice first we selected 4c3 3 out of 4 and then one was left out for that we again made a selection for these computers see we did 4c3 and 3c3 for the three computers and allocated them in three factorial ways then one was left out for that one what we did 1c1 3c1 and just one way so actually we made two selections from the same set so that involves double counting hence this is the overestimated result we got and that is incorrect most of us would go with this on the first side that's wrong so what is the correct approach let us check out we will be going with the set theory approach in this case instead of the p and c approach what we can do is see we are having oh uh, yeah four these four processes can be considered to be one set and all of these three computers would be considered to be one set not just the uh, middle one see there are three computers this is the fastest one this is the slowest one and this number two is the middle one so the processes one and six are done with they do not need to be supplied to any other computer so we now just have to allocate these four processes to these three computers so it will actually be finding out the number of onto functions from the set p for processes to the set c for computers because none of these four has to be left out none of these three has to be left out 
and each process will get only one computer one computer may get multiple processes so this satisfies all the properties of an on to relation so basically an on to relation from a set with four elements to an on to relation on a set with three elements but with a twist let us check out in case 1 what we can do is let us say each of these four processes is free to choose any of the three computers so the first process has three choices second has again three third has again three choices fourth has also three choices so this becomes 3 to the power 4 which is 81 but in this again we have made some overestimation because it is possible that all of the four processes would have selected just one or just two of the three pcs the three computers then this condition would fail that every computer gets a job if all of them map to just the first one or just the first two the last one is left out that won't be allowed yes it is true that the third one uh, initially has had of uh, the process number 6 allocated to it but what if all of these four map to just this middle computer or all of them map to just the first one then this middle would be left out empty so what now we need to do is we will be subtracting those cases in which the middle computer is left out and all of the four let us say two of them map to pc number 1 and these two of them map to pc number 3 this one is left out empty does not got it didn't get any process allocated to it so these cases will be subtracted which cases when all the four map to just one and three second one is left out so how will we calculate that what we'll be doing we'll consider that this set is having just two elements one and three and all of them are mapping to them so that will have each process now having two choices two for process 2 3 4 and 5 each of the processes has two choices among pc1 or pc3 so that gives 2 to the power 4 which is 16 ways so there are 16 ways in which this middle computer would be left out empty now we do not need to worry about those cases when the first one or the third one is left out empty because they already have the fastest the toughest and the easiest processes respectively allocated to them so we are only concerned with those cases when the middle computer is left out empty so we subtracted those cases and there is no other case that needs to be subtracted all of the constraints have been satisfied so what is the final answer that we get the total case is 81 and from that we are subtracting these 16 cases when middle one was left out empty so the our final answer is 81 minus 16 which is 65 so there are 65 ways of achieving the given task